Hello, I'm Jeremy Hannon from ColbertMass.ca, based in Ontario, Canada. As the efforts to curb the spread of COVID-19 continue all around us, I hope you and your families are doing well under what continues to be very challenging times. I know the stress of social distancing, lack of routine, and trying to balance everything as best you can is continuing to mount for many of us. While there are challenges that lie ahead, I remain confident that we can find a way to stop the spread while assisting those already affected. By now you may have seen or heard about the team of engineers in Northern Italy who have came up with a solution to the shortage of CPAP masks intended to treat COVID-19 patients. The Isanova team developed and successfully tested a 3D printed adapter to turn a snorkel mask into a non-invasive ventilator for COVID-19 patients. The adapter is used to address the current shortage of hospital CPAP masks for sub-intensive oxygen therapy, which is emerging as a concrete problem to treat the spread of COVID-19. When combining the adapter with our masks, the result is a potentially life-saving emergency ventilator mask. I was so impressed by the ingenuity of the team at Isinova, I immediately reached out to them and obtained the 3D printed file to put it to local Canadian production. Should we at Cobra Mass be of any assistance to any medical institutions worldwide facing a shortage of CPAP masks? I initially discovered that the mask the valve was originally intended for was a completely different design than ours at Cobra Mask. So the adapter design and the snorkel mask needed to be altered to function properly and we quickly achieved that. Here's how it works. So there's a few things you have to do to the Cobra mask to make it effectively work with the um, Charlotte valve and the Dave valve to become a uh, CPAP ventilator mask. First thing we need to do is remove this cover. This cover covers up part of the uh, defog of the mask. Beneath this is a, a one-way valve. So there's a one-way valve, you just Pop it out, comes out very easily. And you want to go back on the inside of the mask and put it right back into that same hole you just took it out of the inside of the mask. So we're going to take this cover back here, just pop it right back on, snaps in. Part of the defog of the uh, Cobra mask is you want to just pop out these two one-way valves here around the uh, mouth and nasal area. Come out pretty easily. Remove the GoPro mount, not necessary obviously. You flip the mask in like this and you'll just find this, um, this one bolt and nut here that holds on the uh, the spout. So just grab yourself a uh, small Phillips screwdriver here. Remove the spout. So now the um, what you call with Easton Nova team is referred to as the Charlotte valve. It's got an intake and an exhaust and it just pops right on top of the mask and it's held on by this silicone uh, ribbed O-ring here. So there you go. There's, um, there's the first part of it. Um, you've got your um, ventilator hoses here. Um, they're luckily pretty universal. They all come with a silicone or rubber, rubber tip. So um, just pops on there. So there you go, that kind of simulates um, the hoses on the mask. Uh, the second accessory here, it's called a date valve. So that would just go in there. The hose on top like that, 